Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Um, all blessings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahusha HaMashiach, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior of the world. We'll read scripture here and, uh, from the book of Isaiah 7, uh, 14. Uh, this is chapter 7, verse 14. It says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, the Lord, woman who is unmarried and virgin shall conceive and bear a son. You should call his name Emmanuel, God with us. So in this in this book, it is uh, foretelling of uh, the future of an um, unmarried, unmarried virgin, Virgin Mary, and the conception of Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit, who came, God made manifest in the flesh to redeem the, the world of, of sin, to take on the, the sins of the world so that we can be saved through faith, through him, grace by faith, through Jesus Christ, so that we can be saved and have eternal, everlasting life. Um, this is so prophetic is because um, when I read this scripture, a lot of people get it twisted up. They get it all confused. They can't understand what these prophecies mean. There's different books in the Old Testament that harmonize with the New Testament. That's why it's, it's you're supposed to read the entire word. The entire word is true. The entire word is the word of God. And it's all about Jesus Christ from the beginning to the end. It's all about Jesus Christ. I don't care what nobody says. It's always been about Jesus Christ. Um, God always wanted to have our relationship with us. Um, even at the beginning with Adam and Eve, when we lost that relationship, he had to come back to restore that. And the only way he could have restored that is coming in the form of flesh, through flesh. But he was spirit. He was 100% um, God, 100% man, sinless. So he had to come back to redeem us because he created Adam, you know, uh, from the dust of the ground. So he had to redeem us through human as well, through the flesh. So he had to be display himself, show himself through the world and reconcile everyone's sin back to him. Recognize everyone back to him by taking on the sins of the world, by being the ultimate perfect sacrifice, the only sacrifice that was sinless, blameless. And he had to go ahead and suffer so that we could be redeemed. And God did that for us. He did it for us. He had love for us. Even though we, we reject him, you know, we, they hated Jesus Christ. They never wanted to, um, you know, honor him and anything like that. But he still died for us because yet we were still sinners. He still healed us through his stripes. And he's given everyone a chance. Everyone has a chance to be redeemed through our Lord Jesus Christ. It is up to us to accept him and to be redeemed through him being born again so that we can experience the kingdom of God here and show the love of Jesus Christ to each person that we, ex we, we encounter um, by living the example, most importantly, living the example of Jesus Christ and also sharing the gospel to everyone as well, letting them know what he did, letting them know that, um, you know, we're all fallen, we all fall short, there's no works that we can do to obtain salvation. But only salvation is through the Most High, uh, Yahusha HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. So we give all glory and honor and praise to Him. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, you know, um, even though we're in a, this holiday season thing going on right now, they call it Christmas. Just remember, man, what if, you, if you're going to celebrate uh, this season, remember why you're doing it. It's not about getting gifts and, and getting what you want. Why don't you go out and give to somebody, show somebody you love, you do something mm -hmm. for somebody else and not think of just yourself, but to think of others because that's what Jesus Christ would do. That's what um, the Messiah would do. He would he would look for others. He would look to serve. He didn't look come here to be served, but to serve others. So when we, when we look at things and we look at everything pictured here and everything that we're, you know, we're, we're looking at for this holiday season and going forward, Look to serve, not to be served. Look to look out for somebody. Look to pray for somebody. Look to care for somebody. Look to build somebody up. And let Jesus Christ use you to be a vessel for the kingdom of God. Because it's all about the kingdom. It's not about a single individual. So remember that. Keep Jesus in the, in the front lips, in your mind, your heart. And let it be shown through your way you live, your life, and treat others. So this is all for today, guys. I love you guys. Blessings and peace to you all. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you have a wonderful day. Peace. Shalom.